relationship with the Lake Worth Lagoon and the ocean. For generations, our citizens have fished, boated, and swam in these waters. Our commitment to public access to the waterfront is unquestionable, and the Bryan Park boat ramps are a tangible and important part of that commitment. Boat owners, as we all know, play a vital role in our local economy by supporting local marine-related businesses and services. Boating is ingrained in the very lifestyle of the city of Lake Worth, and few communities have the lifestyle we have with such wonderful amenities so close together. We have a great city, and now we have really great boat ramps. Yeah. We're also proud to be part of creating safe and user-friendly boat launching facilities. I am so excited to reopen these ramps and to welcome our boaters yep. back to their home. And I wanna wish everyone a healthy, happy, and safe boating season with fair seas and sunny skies, just like today. <laughs> take this opportunity to recognize some special people here today. You're all special, first of all. <laughs> uh, my fellow commissioner there, mouthing off to me already, Scott Maxwell. <laughs> commissioner John Zerdy, I saw him around somewhere. Of course, our fabulous Palm Beach County Commissioner Shelly Vanna. Dan Lippman from Congressman Hastings' office. Gerwig, Councilwoman from the City of Wellington. Her husband, Alan, who is an engineer on the job. Welcome, welcome. Oscar, I saw from the CRA. There he is over there. Kathy Silva from Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Thank you for always being a part of this. And of course, I see a lot of staff members here. Thank you all so much for attending. Uh, I'm going to also talk about a little bit the people that made this project possible for us and, and who I will forever be indebted to. Um, Tim Woody from Florida Fish and Wildlife. Also, Katrina Thompson. I don't know if you're here. Officer Lee LeBlanc. From the Palm Beach County Department of Environmental Resources Management, Rob Robbins. From Palm Beach County Parks and Recreation, Eric Call. to contractor Mansell's Tractor Service along with Custom Built Marine. Woo! I'm not going to take up too much of your time. This is just so exciting for me. So what I'd like to do is to bring in Florida Inland Navigation District, our special speaker today, Don Coley. Good friend. Right. Don't you have a great radio voice? She really does. <laughs> it never goes away. I'm, uh, we did not meet the uh, buck. Needed jobs and employment to our area. 
those of us who live here all the time get to enjoy this all the time. But um, we want to make sure that the waterway is always dredged to the proper depth and so that the bigger boats can come down so that people can actually use the waterway. And we really like to be able to do projects like this that give all of us the opportunity to get out on the water regardless of whether we have a boat. You know, this combined with water taxis, with a, combined with other projects, really give everybody in the county the chance to enjoy it. We always think about the waterway and the Lake Worth Lagoon in terms of beauty, in terms of, uh, of, of recreation. But the other reason to think about the waterway and to appreciate what we have here is this is a tremendous economic drive. The, the money that comes in because this waterway is here is really tremendous for our entire area. Um, the the um, Intracoastal Waterway in Palm Beach County is responsible for $1.9 billion of annual sales, $288 million of personal income, and over 16,000 jobs. Many of those jobs would not be here if we didn't have an Intracoastal Waterway. I mentioned that Spine is a special taxing district. That means that we charge you a little bit of tax on your property, on the property of all of the East Coast counties um, that, that uh, have the Intracoastal Waterway running through it. The tax bill in, for my house in Palm Beach Gardens is, is $4.24 this year. When you go home, I'd like you to take a look at your tax bill. Take a look for the smallest item on your tax bill, and you're going to find that's the Florida Inland Navigation District assessment to do projects like this. I think these are pretty good returns on the investment, um, and we want to keep doing these kinds of projects. Um, the the um, We also are responsible for the unglamorous work of dredging the, the waterway. There's in Palm Beach County, the waterway is 43 miles long. Um, the, the entire length of the waterway is over 400 miles long. It costs 10 to $15 million a year to dredge the waterway. So that's where the rest of that money goes. It goes into dredging, and it goes into projects like this, like the Snook Islands project just up the road a little bit, or down the, down the water a little bit. Um, so at any rate, um, Great projects, thank you for bringing them. Please keep bringing these kinds of projects. And with that, I would like to present a check on behalf of the taxpayers and on behalf of the Florida Inland Navigation District. And Shelley, may I, may I present this check to both you and to Pam? Sure. This we is a take <laughs> you, you can take checks, there you go. Yes, we do. <laughs> this is a check for $255,000, which is Vine's matching grant for this project. And uh, there's more where that came from, and we urge you all to keep coming up with great projects as we
this uh, project. I, they always give me talking points. So I